Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 553. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 551 to 557. In this trick here, we have a column and there's some format. That's currency and this is a uh, currency with euro. And we need to do a sum if. A sum if and add only the dollars and only the uh, euro ones. We're going to use the cell. I'm going to add an extra column. Um, and use the cell function. The cell function can tell us a lot of things and I've done some other videos on how to get a worksheet name and some some other uh, aspects. But here we want to use bloop, format. Double click on it. In earlier versions you have to type it out like that. Double click. That'll be the info type and then I'm just going to say hey what kind of format is that? Relative cell reference, control enter and double click and send it down. Now if uh, you have a huge set like this, you know, you can then uh, sort on this column. Um, if you have a huge data set and uh, you're not sure if the formatting is done consistently, there might be some troubles with this method. Actually, um, I posted something about this method at the Mr. Excel message board and uh, to someone's question and uh, there's some great VBA answers that were posted also. But um, you can also go up to f of x and then click on help on this function and it, it, this is an example of where Microsoft help actually works. Lots of times it doesn't, but if you scroll down It'll, it'll tell you the different uh, information types. And then down here for format codes, there are some of the codes. So there's our currency with a dollar sign. Uh, this is, looks like what it's in, it is interpreting that as now. So you could see that could give us some trouble if we had inconsistent formatting. I'm going to click OK. But if you have consistent formatting, this is a great way to go. C2 comma to just from there comma to I'm going to highlight both cells and in the active range right there I'm going to say equals sum if the range with the criteria is right there f4 comma the criteria is one cell above comma and this sum range is right there f4 close parentheses control enter to populate that formula into both cells. Now I'm going to come here, control one, and then click here, control one, and switch to uh, euro. And so there I have it. If um, we uh, control shift tilde, that, or no, uh, let me control one and apply general. Notice I'm back to that, right? Did that update? That did not update. And part of the problem is that was formatting applied. If you were to hit this cell, um, oh, actually, I wish I could have, uh, we could F9 to recalculate. And uh, now that will work. And you see that turns out to be a G. So that 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 is the second problem uh, with this. Cell does not always update with formatting, because formatting doesn't always register. Uh, as something has happened in the sheet. So we had I had to hit the F9 key. But now if I um, control 1, add currency, go back to, uh, right, I'm going to hit F9 again. And so now I can see that it updates. All right, we'll see you next trick.